Hi guys, I'm Chris Gonzalez. Today we're going to do a really simple tutorial on film grading. We're going to turn this photo into something kind of like one of you guys suggested. Like this one. So we're going to turn the shadows a little bit green, a little bit neutral, and lose some of the detail. So I picked a similar photo that I had in my archives, and we're going to try to do something kind of like this, while still preserving the colors of the skin. So even though this is like makeup retouching on the sides here for um, other things, we're just going to avoid that and just do the, uh, sorry, we're just going to focus on the actual techniques of the color grading. So for now, copy your first image. So select the background layer, hit Command J, and let's rename it Dodge. We'll use that later. Now go to layer, create new adjustment layer, curves, hit OK. Let's rename this one, just call it uh, Base. And we'll duplicate it twice. So hit Command J on it. We'll rename this one, doesn't really matter what you rename it, but we'll call it Build. Kind of like build up. And then the last one we'll call something like finish. Again, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it this. Double click the circle and now create the dots where I'm putting them. This one we're going to brighten it just a little bit. Second one we're going to set a point here and here and these cross grids and one here. Now, with the very first one, lift it kind of almost where the other uh, next one is. Select the third one and drag it down just barely past the line and with the one in the middle leave it where it is. Now this is going to remove some of the detail from the dark tones. Now select your finish, set one in the middle and start to darken it. This is going to give you some of the tones back on the lighter ones such as the skin and the highlights of the hair. So just bring it down just enough and then on the bottom raise it until the output reaches about 10. All right, now that you have all that, go to your RGB tab, select green instead. And while selecting the top dot, subtract three. So bring it at 252, select your bottom one and add three, zero and three. There you go. Now this gives the shadows a little bit of green while the highlights a little bit of purple or magenta. Now create a new adjustment layer vibrance and we're going to reduce some of the vibrance by negative 10. This is a common technique used in a lot of fashion magazines and uh, editorials so one last thing we're going to do is select the dodge layer and focus in on the eyes a little bit. Select your dodge tool and with a soft brush and some settings set to some pretty low thing I'm going to use 10% on the midtones with a completely soft brush. So set the hardness all the way to zero and be sure it's a round brush. And just gently and not too crazy, add some highlight to the eyes. You don't want to make it too obvious because then you have like these weird looking laser eyes and it just, it looks really fake and kind of corny. So just barely enough that it's noticeable. Zoom out. You can double check what it looks like. Just a really gentle highlight, really. All right, and that's it. After that, crop it, get rid of that little gray stuff on the top right corner, align your photo where you want it, and that's it. Save as, and you're uh, you're done. If you want to, you can also save this as an action. There's other tutorials for that later, but that's really it. So save your file, tell your friends, your mom, your neighbor's cat, your Photoshop pro. And don't forget to subscribe and let me know what else you'd like to see in the future tutorials. Again, my name is Chris Gonzalez, and this is my visual poetry.